Hello friends! My name is Shayla and today I'm here to do a book review for you. Today's book is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This was one of my most anticipated reads of this year and I am so excited to talk to you about it. This review is going to be spoiler free so feel free to stick around even if you haven't read this book yet. So this book, this book is a Queen of Hearts origin story. This one is very based on the Disney Alice in Wonderland and the descriptions of the characters and those kind of things, like even down to the short, stocky, round, bubbling king. Like every character in their description is very based upon Disney's interpretation of Alice in Wonderland. If that bothers you in Alice in Wonderland retellings, go ahead and give this one a pass. But I really want to talk to you about the core of this story and what it's really all about. So in this novel, we follow Kath, who is our Queen of Hearts. She starts out in this story, this young, basically duchess, you know, her family is nobility, and she wants nothing more than to open a bakery with her best friend Marianne, who happens to be her maid and not have anything to do with the royal life. She just wants to live a normal, happy life and not really have anything to do with royalty or nobility. She just wanted to forsake all of that and just have her bakery because it made her happy. She loved to make tarts. She could dream up all of these amazing things and then all of a sudden a tree would grow or things like this. This is all in the first chapter, so I'm not really spoiling anything here. And her parents want to marry her off to the king because they think that's what is best for her. Along the way, we meet this character, Jest, who happens to be the king's court jester. Jest was one of my favorite characters in this entire novel, and I really enjoyed him as a character. He, there was a lot of guessing with him. The core of his character, who he was at his core, was fantastic. So this all takes place in the land of hearts, where Jest was actually from the land of chess, which is what we know as Wonderland. So there's a white queen and a red queen in chess. When it comes to this story, I ended up giving it four stars. It got a little weak through the middle. I felt like it could have been condensed a tiny bit more, maybe. Um, it just felt like some of the things that were going on were dragging through that middle just a little bit. I mean, I'm only talking like if this whole book was 50 pages shorter, I think that would have been to its benefit, in my personal opinion. So our character of Kath, I really, really enjoyed for the majority of the story. The reason why she becomes the Queen of Hearts as we know her is very interesting in this particular origin story. I really enjoyed it. We do see the Jabberwock, we meet the Hatter and the Hare, and all of those fun, quirky characters that we get to know and love. Now, the description of the Hatter is different in this book than it is in the Disney interpretation, but I enjoyed the difference. And him as a character, he was much more mysterious, much more ominous, and I think that played very well into the story. The way everything is weaved together was really enjoyable and really, really fun. Kath was definitely the kind of girl who stood up for herself in this novel, which I enjoyed. And overall, I did enjoy this book. I think it just lagged that tiny bit. When it comes to the writing, it is very Marissa Meyer style. If you liked the Lunar Chronicles at all, the way she wrote it, you will enjoy this standalone of hers. I'm pretty sure... I don't know if she'll continue on with this. It wraps up pretty neat and pretty tidy. But she may continue on and do some more play in than Alice in Wonderland World of Chess. I'm not 100% sure. But right now, it looks like it's a standalone. And I really enjoy it for what it is. If you go in there expecting it to be this big, mind-blowing thing, I think you'll be disappointed. But if you go in knowing that it's going to be an origin story and you can just enjoy it for what it is, I think it's a great read. Really fun, really quick, nothing too fancy. Um, the chapters are short enough that it's fairly easy to put down if you work. Like, at my work, I took it to work with me, and I was able to put it down pretty easy. Which, like, winter in the Lunar Chronicles, I couldn't just because I had to devour it. And I had devoured it in 36 hours. This one, it took me a couple days to read, but my life is much busier than it was back then. All in all, 
I enjoy this book. I do recommend this book, especially if you liked the Lunar Chronicles at all. No one's really talking about this book yet, and I think a lot of it has to do with NaNoWriMo, but I still wanted to get my review up here and let you guys know my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And I just, I have to show you this. So I bought, this is the Target edition. So it has the beautiful book plate on the inside here. And I just have to undress this book. It is... Be still my heart. Like, it is beautiful. It is all red foil. The spine is just beyond, like... I know that's really shallow, but it's just it's just a beautiful book. And I really do enjoy the story, and I think you guys should go and check out Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!